Guilty pleasure or not, reality TV is here to stay. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down the top 10 addictive reality TV shows. Singles believe they're here to find love. Her uh, ass looks insane. To stay in a luxury villa and to go on dates. For this list, we're taking a look at reality shows we can't look away from, can't stop talking about, and we'll never forget. This is the true story. <laughs> true story. Of seven strangers. Number 10, American Idol. It's the greatest singing competition show of all time and has given us talent such as Kelly Clarkson, Carrie Underwood, and Jennifer Hudson. While not all of the show's winners have gone on to become superstars, it's still one of the most aspirational shows on TV, where even someone like William Hung, a notoriously bad contestant, can have a moment in the spotlight. She face! She face! Oh, baby! But she moves! She moves! The show was at its best with its trio of original judges, Simon Cowell, Randy Jackson, and Paula Abdul, giving their honest, sometimes brutal opinions. Vanessa, if anyone ever asked me in my life what my nightmares look and sound like, <laughs> I'm going to refer to that. Over the years, the judges have come and gone, but Ryan Seacrest has remained a faithful host. You remember me? <laughs> yes, you did Lady Marmalade. Yep. Yep. And they weren't so thrilled with you. Number nine, Jersey Shore. This show about young singles partying on the New Jersey beaches was an unexpected breakout hit for MTV. The show premiered in 2009 and made household names out of the situation, JWoww, Snooki, and company. It's t-shirt time! Everybody knows it's t-shirt time! There was something captivating about the earlier seasons, which felt largely unscripted as the cast would drink too much, hook up, and fist pump their hearts out night after night. This little shrimp thing is like bopping around in the circle and like doing her thing, doing backwards flips, like with her thong hanging out, her whole crotch is in the air. It wasn't without its controversy with many New Jersey natives, including Governor Chris Christie, speaking harshly about the show and its portrayal of New Jersey. Snooki is from Poughkeepsie, the situation from Staten Island. They parachuted these losers into New Jersey. <laughs> they managed to pump out six seasons in three short years and ingrained the lifestyle motto GTL, Jim Tan Laundry, in us all. If I didn't do my GTL or take care of myself, I don't know what I'd look like. Number eight, America's Next Top Model. <laughs> you Wanna Be On Top is the question this show poses from the theme song, and one host slash supermodel Tyra repeatedly asks aspiring models on each cycle. Congratulations, you're still in the running towards becoming America's Next Top Model. Each week, Tyra and her judges put the contestants through challenges, from the expected like walking in heels to the bizarre, like walking in a bubble, all meant to prove they have what it takes to be a top model. Well, the judges have deliberated long and hard. The challenges were a backdrop to the star-studded power of Tyra, who created words like smize and the drama that came from the models living together. The show was cancelled in 2015 after its 22nd cycle, but it was recently announced that VH1 will revive it without Tyra as a judge. Alas, it won't be the same without her. Hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, darling. Number 7, The Amazing Race. This is the start of a life-changing adventure unlike anything you have ever experienced. It's easy to get addicted to this show, where 11 teams of two race around the world completing challenges and navigating through unknown cultures for a shot at winning $1 million. These 11 new teams now have their chance to win $1 million and the amazing race. Watching the series will give you serious wanderlust as the players get to visit some of the world's most stunning locations. Wow. Holy cow, guys. This is unbelievable! It's fun to see how the duos stay cool under pressure, deal with language barriers, and get lost. This way, right? Should we go this way or this way? This looks more direct. Are you sure? Let's just see what the street's called. The show has been on for a whopping 28 seasons and has won 10 primetime Emmys as the outstanding reality competition program. And the Emmy goes to... The Amazing Race! Number 6, The Hills. Feel the rain on your Created as a spin-off from Laguna Beach, the real Orange County, this show followed the life of Lauren L.C. Conrad as she tried to pursue a career in fashion, find love, and maintain friendships in Los Angeles. What did you do? What did you do? You started a sick little rumor about me. The series felt like a how-to guide for Hollywood, at a time when we were all obsessed with young starlets like Lindsay Lohan and Paris Hilton. How much is this? 1500 
I'll take it. <laughs> it also gave us some of the best reality TV villains with Heidi Montag and Spencer Pratt, the duo known as Spidey. I can't believe they came. We now know that most of the show was scripted, but who cares when it gave us all the drama we could handle. Number five, the Real Housewives franchise. I want my own car. I want my own bed. I want my mommy. <laughs> Following the success of scripted shows like Desperate Housewives and The O.C., this series began in 2006 with Orange County, which gave viewers access to the lives of the rich and famous women of O.C. Of course, Vicky, the hypocrite that's going to bring everybody else into it instead of just herself. The series is a treasure trove of catfights, backstabbing, and women drinking too much Pinot Grigio. It's provided us with the ridiculous catchphrases of the opening credits and a chance to see how the 1% lives. What a gift from God. What a voice. Furthermore, it's made household names of some of the cast members like Nene Leakes, Bethany Frankel, Teresa Judice, and Lisa Vanderpump. In total, nine U.S. cities have been locales for the show, including Atlanta, New Jersey, New York, and Beverly Hills. I just don't know what to say at this point. You're all crazy. Number four, Big Brother franchise. Tonight, Big Brother is back with another season of drama, fun, and betrayal. Taking its name from the George Orwell novel 1984, the premise of the show is simple. The contestants, known as house guests or housemates, must live in a house with 24-hour surveillance while competing in challenges and using their social skills to not get evicted. You, know, you jump on the mattress and it starts shifting back and forth. You jump to the second one and it's turning 360 degrees. The setup makes for a fascinating look at human behavior, since many of the people go a bit stir-crazy under the constant scrutiny and lack of communication with the outside world. Lisa, let me talk, so I'm the one telling the truth in it, because everyone's so scared to tell the truth apart from me! Oh my god. No. The drama is oftentimes over the top, silly, and yet strangely addictive, with the show eventually growing into 54 franchises worldwide. Two house guests were caught breaking the rules of being a have-not. Number three, keeping up with the Kardashians. Usually when I come to France, the paparazzi is not really that crazy. Say what you want about the Kardashians, but it's pretty hard to deny that they're one of the most influential and famous families of the 21st century. Their pop culture takeover is in large part due to their show, which became an unbridled success for E! Network. My sisters and I are going to do our individual treadmill shots until Kylie's ready to get her butt out here, but time is ticking. Produced by Ryan Seacrest, among others, the show follows the day-to-day -day lives of the Kardashian clan, namely Kim, Khloe, Courtney, and company, all of whom are famous for, well, being Kardashians. I need a pap smear. Look, Kimmy. It's my vagina. Now on its 11th season, the show has no intentions of slowing down as they air various spin-offs such as Chloe and Courtney Take the Hamptons and Chloe and Lamar. Lamar and I have been missing our family. My raw dance like that, a little Dougie. Then you throw your shoulder over like Oh boom, my boom, god. Boom. Number 2, Survivor. <laughs> Where would reality TV be without this show? Since 2000, Survivor has dominated American reality television and proved to be one of the most fascinating social experiments as players are forced to make alliances while surviving in a harsh environment. We've been shivering in the rain probably five or six hours, if not more. Host Jeff Probst pushes contestants to outwit, outplay, and outlast each other, which is hard to do when they're working with little food and water. Last person left standing wins immunity guaranteed a one in nine shot at winning this game. After 32 seasons, they're still finding new ways to push the players to use their social and mental skills while pushing their physical endurance. This is an exhausting challenge. A lot of weight in those fish traps. It is not easy. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. pretty good. This is really going to make a huge difference. It's, it's awesome. <laughs> uh, a little more acid would have given it a kick to really set off the richness of the fish. I'm really happy because we see the glitter is really casual, urban, modern, and sophisticated. I think it looks spectacular. Queen Victoria would be proud. Oh. Oh, wowzers. Number one, 
The Bachelor and The Bachelorette. Thank you very much for coming. Well, how are you? Beginning in 2002, this dating show set up one lucky bachelor with the chance of a lifetime to date multiple women in the hopes of finding a wife. And here is to the possibility of finding love. <laughs> this led to an equally successful spin-off with the genders reversed. Sean. Even though most of the seasons don't end in a successful marriage, between these two shows, there has been an astonishing 31 seasons combined. I was so confident in what we had, and I, I, I didn't see that coming at all. No one really cares about the search for true love, but instead we're watching for the backstabbing contestants, the fantasy suites, the overuse of the word amazing. It's amazing. Yeah, this is amazing. It's, it's gonna be amazing. And host Chris Harrison, who promises audience every season the most shocking rose ceremony ever. I know I've said this before, but this time I cannot tell you how stunning and how dramatic next Monday's finale really is. Do you agree with our list? Which reality show is on your must-watch TV list? I'm so tired just thinking about it. For more addictive top tens published daily, be sure to subscribe to Ms. Mojo. Thank you everyone for coming and having a great dinner.